Unit 2, Lesson 21, Project, a Class Magazine, Part 7. Integrarán la información diseñada para formar su revista. Write a list of three verbs and three objects. Mm -hmm. Second step. Write sentences explaining the meaning of the verbs and words you have. The third step is make a layout. Now, the fourth step is decide which of the verbs and words are going to be across and which ones are going to be down. The fifth step is write letter by letter the verbs and the words in the layout. Don't forget the sixth step. Leave blank squares for each letter and fill in the rest with black color. Mm -hmm. The seventh step is be sure the words are complete and the spelling of each word is correct. The eighth step is number the verbs and words in the layout. Hola, en la lección de hoy, Veremos terminados todos los proyectos que los chicos han elaborado para la revista de Simol. Todos los chicos presentarán sus trabajos y hablarán de ellos para finalmente juntarlos y hacer la revista. ¡Vamos a verlos! Good morning, kids. Good morning, teacher. Today, we're going to check our project from the Simol Tourist Guide magazine. Mm. Mm, okay, who's the first? Um, Let me check the chart. Mm. It's me, teacher. Hmm? Remember, sí. I described Rose. Ah, mm -hmm. Please, show me your description, mm, mm. Diego. Mm. <laughs> In the first paragraph, I wrote complete mm -hmm. name, nationality, age, mm -hmm. and studies. Mm -hmm. Then, in the second paragraph, I made a physical description. Uh -huh. In the third paragraph, I wrote about the profession. The fourth paragraph was about Rose's family. Uh -huh. In the fifth paragraph, I wrote about everything that she liked. Finally, I checked my spelling and, of course, added her photo on the left side. That's it. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you very much, Diego. And in our chart, where did you place this description you made? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In the information section. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good, Diego. Great job. Thanks, teacher. Very well. Mm -hmm. This is the first part of our magazine. Okay, mm -hmm. who's next? It's me, teacher. Mm -hmm. I made an interview to Jixmal. It was quite funny. <laughs> First, these are the steps I followed. Mm -hmm. One, prepare the questions and go to Jig's mm -hmm. mouth. Mm -hmm. mm, two, ask the questions and write down uh -huh. the answers. Mm, be polite and friendly all the time. Remember, mm -hmm. it's Jig's mouth. Mm, three, finish the interview, make the transcription, and then write mm -hmm. your impressions about him. And then you gave me some tips to interview him. Remember? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When you make the transcription, mm -hmm. remember to distinguish between you and Jig's mouth. Mm -hmm. Distinguish who is speaking. Mm -hmm. Rewrite the text and use quotation marks. Mm -hmm. Do not repeat the information. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're right. I remember mm -hmm. the tips for your interview. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. Nice work. Mm -hmm. And in the chart, where do you think your interview has to be? Mm -hmm. In the story section? 
Mm, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Good job, Angel. <laughs> Give me your interview. In the end, we're going to put it all together. <laughs> Here's my interview. Okay. Everybody follow me. <laughs> 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 Now, Mariana, come over here, please. <laughs> What's up with your ladder? Here it is. Okay, let me see it. Mm -hmm. These are the five parts I use to write my letter. Mm. One, heading, your address and the date. Two, greeting, for example, my dearest friend. Three, body. Here you're going to write only one idea per paragraph. Mm. Four, closing. Mm -hmm. For instance, best wishes. <laughs> Five, finally, your signature. In this case, Mariana, or mm -hmm. the name of the person who wrote the letter. Very good job. <laughs> and in which section should the letter be? Mm, in the story section, teacher. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mariana. Mm -hmm. Very good. Come over here, Gabriela. Well, mm -hmm. as you know, my assignment mm -hmm. was an article. The title mm -hmm. is How to Make a Craft. Mm -hmm. That's why I decided to make a sock puppet. Who helped you? Well, Doña Jimena did. Step one. Thread the string through the needle hole. Step two. Sew the buttons on as if they were the eyes. Step three. Paste the yarn with glue as hair. Mm -hmm. Step four, place your hand inside the sock and start playing with your puppet. Conclusion, you can make many different faces and animals. Have fun, be creative and stylish. Step one, list of words. Then step number two, write sentences explaining the meaning of the verbs and words you have. Step three is to make a layout. That means you have to design a squared frame with multiple boxes. Step four is mm -hmm. decide mm -hmm. which of the verbs and words are no. going to be across and which ones are going to be mm -hmm. down. But mm -hmm. check that mm -hmm. each word has to match in some mm -hmm. part with another. Step five is write letter by letter the words in the layout. Uh, step six is leave blank squares for each letter and fill in the others with black color. Step seven is be sure the words are complete and the spelling of each word is correct. Now, step eight is number the verbs and words in the layout. And then you have a puzzle game. Easy, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed, Karen. <laughs> Great job, Karen. And in the chart, what section will you put the game in? In the game section. <laughs> Hola. El día de hoy. Revisamos en la lección los proyectos de cada uno de los chicos en Simol. Uh -huh. Primero, Diego presentó la descripción que hizo a Rose y recordó los pasos para realizar una descripción. ¡Veamos! En el primer párrafo, escribí complete name, nationality, age uh -huh. and studies. Luego... Uh -huh. In the second paragraph, I made a physical description. Uh -huh. In the third paragraph, I wrote about the profession. 
The fourth paragraph was about Rose's family. Oh. In the fifth paragraph, I wrote about everything that she liked. Después, Ángel nos enseñó los pasos y los tips que Martín le dio para realizar una entrevista al sabio Jigsmal. ¡Miren! Juan, prepare the questions and go to Jigsmal's. Mm -hmm. mm, two, ask the questions and write down uh -huh. the answers. Mm, three, finish the interview, make the transcription, and then write mm -hmm. your impressions about him. Mariana escribió una carta para Karen Jean. Con ayuda de Rose, Mariana aprendió las partes de una carta. Uh -huh. Juan, heading, your address and the date. Two, greeting, for example, my dearest friend. Three, body. Four, closing, uh -huh. for instance, best wishes. <laughs> Five, finally, your signature. Casi todos pasaron a enseñar sus proyectos. Pero faltaba uno muy especial por la forma de hacer. Uh -huh. Gabriela nos enseñó a seguir instrucciones y a escribirlas para realizar un títere con un calcetín. ¡Yo quiero el mío! Step one. Thread the string through the needle hole. Step 2. Sew the buttons on as if they were the eyes. Step 3. Paste the yarn with glue as hair. Mm -hmm. Step 4. Place your hand inside the sock and start playing with your puppet. Finalmente, Karen explicó cómo con la ayuda de Jigsmal hizo un juego para la revista. Su crucigrama es genial. Veámoslo. <laughs> step one, list of words. Then step number two. Write sentences explaining the meaning of the verbs and words you have. Step three is to make a layout. That means you have to design a squared frame with multiple boxes. Step four is mm -hmm. decide mm -hmm. which of the verbs and words are no. going to be across and which ones are going to be mm -hmm. down. But mm -hmm. check that mm -hmm. each word has to match in some mm -hmm. part with another. Step five is write letter by letter the words in the layout. Uh, step six is leave blank squares for each letter and fill in the others with black color. Step seven is be sure the words are complete and the spelling of each word is correct. Now, step eight is number the verbs and words in the layout. And then you have a puzzle game. Se fijaron que en esta lección recordamos cómo realizar una descripción de una persona, una entrevista, escribir una carta, redactar un artículo dando instrucciones para crear un títere y elaborar un juego como el crucigrama. Uh -huh. No olviden darle un título a su revista e ilustrarla con dibujos o cualquier otro material. ¡Hasta la próxima lección!